you guys how to get these brown highlights that I attempted to do with box dye and another disclaimer I want to say was <sighs> I want to use bleach at first but you know during quarantine or corona time we can't use no bleach I mean I couldn't find no bleach because all the hair stores are closed and I found out that CPS has bleach at the last minute and I stuck with what I could do which was using box dye and I mean, I would say, y'all gonna hear how I feel about it towards the end. Let's get into the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, for this look, ladies, you would need a bowl with the brush, 30 volume developer, the actual dye that you're gonna use, foil, and some gloves. And don't forget your rat tail comb. In the box, it comes with color optimizing cream. It comes with color gel and it comes with a color and shine conditioner. So this box I only came with 20 volume developer so I used 30 volume developer. I marked it so that I can know how much was in there and I just dumped out the 20 and put the 30 in there. I would use 40 if I was you so if you have 40 use 40. The colors have numbers on them, so I dump one and two into there and I leave the conditioner in the side and use that for later while washing. I mix that all up. I section my hair into four sections and I make sure I separate my frontal. If you have a closure, separate your closure from the bundles. So I wanted to do the front first where my face is of course we all know that we have to get that color right in the front so we so it can shape our face not shape our face what, what's i'm looking for y'all already know what i'm talking about like you know how it look in the front it look real good in the front if you just have dye in the front so i separate that and i just put the bleach on there i didn't do no specific way i'll be doing the threading method later in the hair but right now i just Put the dye all the way in the front of the hair. Get your foil and you fold the hair there because it obviously might be too long and you just fold the foil up. So now I'm going towards the middle of the frontal itself and I'm doing the same exact thing I did in the front. I separate the hair making sure the line is straight or well, the part is straight semi because it wasn't straight here. And right here, I'm doing. I'm actually doing the threading me method. And you guys, while you while you're doing highlights, do your own thing. You know, it's your hair. You can do the parting method. You can do the threading method, thick method. You know, just put your highlights everywhere. It's no exact way to do highlights. I'm not a professional. You know, this is my first time doing highlights, and you know, I'm just doing my own little thing. Let me not forget, I use one and a half of the box dye to achieve this look. So right here, I'm just showing you guys the threading method on how it looks. And for the rest of this video, I'll just fast forward the rest. You guys hear a little bit of music and I'll be right back.
decided to do the heating treatment so that the hair can process a little faster since I don't have one of those dryers you put over your head. I would do that if I was at so the process go faster and it, and the dye could actually be a little lighter. But as y'all can see in the results, they didn't happen. But, I mean, if you use a different type of box dye, because I actually just see people use a different type of box dye and actually get light highlights. So next time, I'll look for a better box dye that's going to get me lighter highlights. So I just go in, I use my flat iron, and yes, my flat iron is on 400. I like when my hair is pressed, okay? Pressed. Not even pressed, pressed. Just like that. So you're going to see the smoke and you're just going to see how lovely this hair came out. This hair straightened so good. And as y'all can see, y'all can see the highlights a little bit. And the hair actually came out really good to me. Yes, of course, I wish the highlights came out a little lighter. But overall, I am satisfied with what I got. And yeah, y'all. That's the end of this. Honestly and truly, y'all, look at these highlights. These is cute. Imagine if it was lighter. Real cute. Okay, y'all, this is the finishing product of the hair. This is what I got. I don't know if y'all can see the highlights. I'm going to try my best for y'all to see it. Right here. Um... I'm satisfied because I mean in the in the sun of course you can tell but I'm not always in the sun. I want people to see my highlights without me being in the sun. Obviously that's why I did highlights. But this hair took highlights. I mean this hair took that dye really good. The hair is still smooth, still flowy how I originally had it in the video. Y'all should go check that out if you haven't already. But yeah, y'all. Yeah. I'm satisfied with the hair, but I probably would have been a little more satisfied if I bleached the hair. But I don't think I want to go back in messing with this hair again. I might just leave it the way it is and probably mess with another wig. Comment down below if you want to see me do actual highlights with bleach in another wig. Because I have another wig to do. I try my best. And if y'all ain't noticed, your girl did her makeup. <laughs> but that's another video. Go check that video out. I don't know if this video is going to drop first or the next. Or this video or the other one of me doing a three in one. Mm. Yeah, y'all let me know. Like, I don't even know what the back look like. Let me show y'all the back. 
thank y'all so much for watching this video again let me know how y'all feel about this wig and how i did would you try box dye would would you not try box dye box dye i said box would you try box dye let me know all of that in the comment section and let me know if this was a pass or fail and again don't forget to like comment and subscribe to your girl and follow me on all my social media platforms bougie bay I feel